Hello everybody and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. I thought today I would do a collection tour since I've not done one on this channel and I love looking at people's collections. My shelves are currently decorated for Christmas because I'm filming this in December so let's go! Just before I start I will mention I am getting a Peter Stone for Christmas and I have got a glossy Benelli on the way. Other than that this is every single model I own. So I'm going to start on the top shelf. I'm not going to tell you every single model name, um, but I will point out ones to you that you might not have seen much of before or that have a cool story behind them. Um, this guy I get a lot of questions about on my Instagram. He's called Saltire. He was a Briarfest 2008 special run. He's super pretty. Uh, Roan. So there he is. My Enchanted Forest I call Chocolate Brownie. I've had him for such a long time. And my foal, Beltane, has a Christmas scarf on. How cute is that? Um, a few of them have Christmas scarves on. I have been selling them on my Instagram, um, but I have a few left over, so I thought I'd put them on my ponies. Tennessee Titan is signed, and his box is signed too. My Nakotas. Isadora Cruz was my first ever briar. Sheila. Sheila was my grandma's name. That's why I'm obsessed with her. I love the Bobby Joe mold. Moving down, my two Ishes. They're so cute. Uh, Sassy is one of the latest Collector Club releases. Another Christmas scarf. Love these two. I used to own a Riesling too. Uh, I don't own him anymore though. My gold for Legro um, has a cool story. I bought him at the very event where Vallegro formally retired from competitions, uh, which was Olympia International Horse Show in 2016, I believe. This is one of my favourite guys in my entire collection. I've had him for such a long time. And uh, I think his OF name is like WAP Spotted or something like that. I can't exactly remember. I used to have his uh, name tag, but I don't know where it is. But he's so cute. I love him so much. Then we have Love from this year's Briarfest. Fire Magic here was one of my very first Briars. And I love these adorable grazing masks. They just look so cute. I really like them. Moving down again, we have Sergeant Reckless, my two little foals, an old Leary back there. Um, my first two Peter Stones, so the one on the left was my very first one, and this was my first, and this was my first ever DAH. Pretty ponies. He's one of my favourites. Oh, my little Connemara Mare Conga. I love these girls. They're so cute. And win on the end with a scarf. Um, then we have this. Um, I can't really explain this. This is just the dumping ground of a lot of my stable mates. I have some Schleich Falls back there. Some Briar Dogs are dotted about. My travel mug from Briarfest. Um, it's the international guest exclusive travel mug. Um, I have a glass horse here too. It's, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> a signing model from a live show back in like 2010. Um, yeah, this really needs sorting out, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> and then we have my glass cabinet. Let me step back so you can see. Here it is. Um, and you can see all of my boxes on the left. But very quickly before I show you who's in the cabinet, I'm just going to show you these two either side of my printer. So this is the family pony mare. I used to have Misty and Stormy as well. Such a cute little mare mold. And my mountain goat, who I don't know why I bought this guy. I bought this guy 
literally like 10 years ago and I love him. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna open the cabinet. On the cabinet, I just have some magnets from, mostly from this year's Bryfest. Okay, at the top we have Carrick here. I got him so cheap. I can't remember how much he was. He was like maybe 65 or something like that. It was crazy. Um, this is my, I think it's called Aurora resin, but he's the winged variation. He is so cool. I love him. His wings are incredible. I don't know how shiny they look on camera, but in real life they are incredible. Then I have this little resin, which I can't remember the name of. This is a Union Jack or Little Jack resin. Let me check. Union Jack resin. Um, this is painted by one of my friends to look like my horse in real life as a foal because I never got to see him as a foal and I thought it would be quite fun to have a custom of that. And we have this little unicorn who's raw. He uh, has some extra bits of plastic and things, but he's so cool. Bought him at a live show. Um, a mini Winnie that's fallen over. There we go. Uh, a custom by another one of my friends in the hobby. He's so cute. He has a re-sculpted mane. Really like him. Bought him on the Bryfest weekend. A line downfall and a little Morgan chip from Peterstown. One of my favourite stable mates. She's so cute. And my Arab filly from Peterstown, who is so cute. Um, and then my Idicus Conga. So we have a portrait of my horse, Bobby. A lot of people like this guy on Instagram. He's so cool. We have Snowman. We have Bow, Valiant, Buttercream, Brunello, Idicus, and I never know how to say this guy's name. It's like Ravel or Ravel. People say it in different ways, but he's there. Now we have the rest of my Bryfest 2009 shrine. So buttercream up here is from 2009 Bryfest. And then these guys are also from Bryfest 2009. So we have Roxy and she is actually signed. I got her for £13 or £13.50 from eBay. She is flawed. She has shiny marks and some scratches, but I think that was a really great find. And she's signed, so... This is Make-A-Wish. She's hard to see from this angle, but she's here. Um, she's so cute. She and Buttercream were my first Bryfest 2009 special runs, and they started off my obsession. This is Cupcake. I love Cupcake. He's so cute. He's a bit dusty. And then this is Spring Cause, one of my all-time favourite OF models. I still think she has one of the best paint jobs of any OF Briar that I own. She's stunning and yeah, just, oh, I love this girl. Um, and then underneath those we have, this is my first ever stable mate. This is from the 2010 World of Crestrian Games. And then this is a little Pegasus that came in a set originally. And we have my Aaron from this year's Briarfest. Then we have a custom by Yellow Box Equine. I always forget her name. I think it's Heather. Um, stunning boy. He's so gorgeous. He has re-sculpted ears, so they point forward and they're so cute. And then he has a re-sculpted mane and he's just, he's so stunning. There are more pictures on my Instagram of him if you want to see more of him. And then we have some more stable mates down here. We have my Alvarezo minis. This is not another stable mate from a fantasy set. Um, this is a custom by someone called Eben Equine Studios. He's like a little steampunk custom. And then a Django, which I got in a blind bag. 
Then we have the famous Alboroso. Everybody. <laughs> I feel like everyone loves Alboroso. I got him for like 110 or 120 US dollars many years ago. Um, and I haven't seen one at that price since. <laughs> but I love him so much. He's so cool. And then my Duendes. I have Straight Bat, who's one of my favourites. A custom and Dominante. My Diamond Jubilee, my Surprise, my Weather Girl who I've had for years, my Pelooses, these are my Mo Moonlight Madness Sugar Skull Peter Stones, and then my other ponies, and more stable mates. This is my first ever medallion, this is by Mel Miller Equine. so cool i think he's called aldrick if i remember that correctly and it's the bones variation so he actually has 3d printed bones inside which is amazing he's so cool and it means i don't have to paint him because he already looks awesome my stable made from Briarfest this year and pins and more stable mates. This is a custom I did years ago who won an overall reserve champion of a show. <laughs> okay. Closing the cabinet now. Moving on to over here where we just have one little lady. This is uncalled for. She's wearing a Christmas scarf. She just chills out here because I don't have any other space for her. She's pretty. And then, um, I have these two customs on my bench that I'm working on. They've got plastic bags on because uh, it helps to keep the dust off them. Here is my cat. <laughs> and last but not least, we have this shelf, which uh, is largely Bryfest purchases, actually. So we will start on this end. I almost fell off my bed then. So we have my Wilberry pony, who isn't by Briar, but he goes really nicely with these guys. And then these are my Briarfest plushies. So I have Mackenzie from this year. Uh, what's his name? Furlong from 2018. He was free from Briar in my international Briarfest goodie bag. And then we have Little Jack, who's from 2012. Then we have my new inbox, Valino, um, or Reggie. And then we have my out of box Reggie, who is stunning. And this, uh, this video is not doing him justice. My Mongammon, it's actually the second Mongammon I've owned because I sold mine, regretted it, and then found another one. Uh, and then we have a space for my glossy Benelli and all my Shannondale ponies. I bought every single Shannondale pony I own over the Briarfest period. So I bought this guy before the weekend of Briarfest because I wanted to see the mold in person. Then I bought Benelli on Friday. It was a hassle getting him but I'm so glad that I got him I'm obsessed and he's wearing a head collar from a friend um who I can't remember the Instagram name of but it goes so well with my scarves <laughs> we should have teamed up and sold them as sets <laughs> and then Yuletide Greetings who's this year's Christmas horse in his tack and last but not least we have little Ricky Rocker who sadly passed away this year so that's very sad but that's it that is my collection done i really hope you enjoyed watching this collection tour i don't know if it was entertaining i'm aware that my shelves are a little bit crammed and there are some disorganized parts that we will just ignore um, but hopefully i'll be able to sort that out soon once again merry christmas to those who celebrate and to those who don't celebrate I hope winter is treating you well and I hope you have a nice break on the bank holidays 
And that's it. I will see you soon. Goodbye, guys.